So let's go ahead and do some physical computing with Scratch. This time we're going to open up Scratch 2. Okay, looks kind of familiar to our earlier version of Scratch. The big difference in this scenario is that we're going to use the button called More Blocks. And we're going to add an extension. We're going to click on the Pi GPIO extension and say OK. And now we get two new buttons that occur. The first one is the set GPIO to output high. The next one is the GPIO is high. Okay. Instead of my always on power, I'm going to plug in. my on power to pin number 17. Okay, that means I'm turning on this entire rail when pin 17 is happening. Great. The next one I want to do is to find out if pin 21 Pin 21 will sense an always on input. So I'm going to need something going from pin 21. Here's my wire. Pin 21 is right here at the very bottom. be on one side of my button. And then I'm going to move my power button and keep my 3.3 .3 always on right there so that this side is still always on. And now I'm going to move this guy over to the other side right here. And when I push the button, the cat should say hello. Oh, there's a bit of error in my code. GPIO 21. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm making it so that my code moves forward. What I'm doing is making it so that I'm looking for an input. If code GPIO 21 is high, say hello for two seconds. So there you go, the basics of buttons. If I want to make it so that instead of when the space key is pressed, my buttons go off, now I'm going to make it so that when my button is pressed, then GPIO 17 starts flashing. I simply have to add a direct connection from my light bulb right there over to pin 17. I know it's pin 17 is on. I'm going to grab this forever loop and I'm going to change the hello button and put a forever loop inside here. So now let's try it. Okay. Hey, it works. I push the button and the light goes off. So in our physical world, we have a button hooked up to a GPIO pin, and let's go ahead and make this into pin 17. And if I click on this, ah, look, pin 17 is lit. And I'll click again, and it still stays lit. 
If I want to turn pin 17 off, I go to output low. Now I'll double click on it. The pin is turned off. The simple act here has told the Pi to not send electricity to pin 17. Now, here comes some fun parts where if we want to make it uh, blink, we have to set a series of commands. So here's the code for making, making uh, that light bulb flash. We'll think first, let's give it an event. We can do when the space key is, is pressed. Now, we want GPIO 17 to go between output low and output high. So we are going to add a forever loop, something that will go on and on. First thing, let's set it to output high so that it starts off. And now we're going to wait a second. And then we'll set it to output low. And I think that the fun part here is so that I don't have to drag it back, I can just hit the duplicate and click on this one. And now I can drag it and put it right underneath there. Just change my numbers right here from output high to output low. And boom, let's give this a try. Okay, it seems as if it's working. So there's a lot of fun adding a whole bunch of these buttons here. You can have three buttons, you can have four buttons. Every time you want a different button to go off, just change the output high to out um, this or not button. Every time you want a different LED button to go off, you can just change it with a different number. So again, you could copy this entire bit of code with a duplicate button and just change a few things. Okay. The next step is making a button function. So if we've wired up our button the right way, let's do a when clicked. So the button is always just ready for us. We want to set GPIO, and I'm going to put mine into GPIO 21. So I'll put 21 right there, set it to input. Okay, now it's ready. And again, I need to have a forever loop in here so that whenever this program is running, it's waiting for it. And then I need an if then statement. I'll put the if then statement inside of here. If GPIO 21 is high, then what should it do? Well, for this one, let's just say, make the cat say hello. Okay, we'll go ahead and test this out. Why don't you hit the green arrow? The cat is on. Hello, it worked. Awesome. And then the next little bit is if I want my, instead of just a hello for the cat, I can grab my whole entire forever loop and stick it right in here. And now, if I press my green arrow, my green flag, if I hit the button, and it works. Yay!